let's move to market basket analysis how many of you know market basket analysis anyone has heard of this term there was some conversation regarding market basket analysis yeah tell me what do you guys understand of market basket analysis anyone uh, to understand the buying pattern of a customer okay what else what else i yes anyone else say for market basket analysis guy why, why such low energy on saturday like combining offers on relatable products so that people like to buy those means if you bought a, a like new phone chance of buying a phone cover together or okay, if you but, bought but let's say chances to just and let me know one thing or help me understand one thing if we is is it are we saying that probability of buying the both products together is more as compared to buy that single product okay. are we saying this yes that is why we are calculating a joint probability for that yeah. are you sure joint probability does that the support basically the probab but probability can never be greater than one right right how we are saying that if we package both products together the probability of buying them together is more as compared to buying them individually or buying one product individually anyone wants to take a shot do we have a do we know that probability of buying both things together is more as compared to buying an individual product no okay uh, according to probability i think uh, buying both the products the probability must be lesser because when we are having an intersection of two reasons according to that um, no i am saying let's say let's take let me give you an example like right? probability of buying a bread given that we have already bought egg is higher than probability of buying just bread do you think this is the case if no, we have no. to merge two things hmm? no does everyone agree no i think uh, it is true this is true uh oh. okay yeah, let I me think so. wait let me uh, see if i can launch a poll i have launched a poll yes answer guys probability of one okay let's everyone participate guys come on why only two i participated so poll results are there so five of you believe that yes this is the case and four of you believe that this is not the case right so yeah let's see tell me who was saying that who has the answer i was uh, if this probability of getting bread and means event of having a bread and event of having eggs if both of these events are uh, independent events then mm. in that case both these probabilities would be equal Hmm. And if uh, they are uh, dependent events, then hmm. it would be greater, I guess. Okay. Oh. Okay, makes sense. Okay, let me change this a bit. What is the probability of buying beer, given that we have a diaper, and probability of buying beer? Do you think that these are the events that depends upon each other? No, no i don't think so no, they are no 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 absolutely no. opposite okay fine let's now it's interesting yeah cool first of all let's see what is market basket analysis and then we'll come to you know use case okay so basically what market basket basket analysis does it's basically look at the purchase patterns and then try to understand what are the things that could go together in the cart so for example bread butter egg and bread milk and something else milk and cereal right so there are three major very main important things that we do when we calculate or when we do market basket analysis the first one is support it's very simple it's a joint probability the intersection probability number of times both products bought together and the total number of observations so this is support support is very very important will come what support tells us what confidence tells us then confidence is the conditional probability conditional probability of buying product y given that product x is already purchased so 
what is the probability that if I purchase egg, I am going to purchase bread. If I purchase bread, I am going to purchase butter. So this is confident. And then we have lift. Any one of you understand lift P X intersection Y P X into P Y? Any one of you understand this? Hmm? This is the lift in sales term. For example, uh, different role in test, A-B testing is a lift of the sales lift. Sorry, sorry. Uh, is this the lift from the sales term? Like, uh, in advertising or A-B testing, we do we calculate the sales lift. You can say that. You can. Okay. But this is very important, right? And here I'll tell you why is it important. I've kept this space. I'm saying lift should be greater than one. So can I write no. this now? Now P, X intersection, Y on px into py i'm saying should be greater than one that's what i'm saying so what i'm saying p x intersection y should be greater than p x into p y right this is let's say my first equation so what can i write p x intersection y as p of buying y given that we have already bought x into p of x should be greater than p of x into p of y. Abhi tak kuch samajna aya? Sab samaj me aya? A second, all I repeat can I? This one? Yeah, please. So I'm just putting this condition, right? From the equation one, what I can say p of x intersection y is equals to p of y by x into p of x. That's all. I'm just putting this one, Allah. this equation here. That's all. So what I'm saying, now you see, that's the market basket. Probability of buying product Y, given that probability we have already purchased X is higher than probability of buying just product Y. So probability of buying bread, given that we have already bought egg, is higher than probability of buying bread. It can only be possible if the lift is greater than one. Any doubt in this? Amber, can you please explain this again, this lift concept? So first of all, this is the formula, right? Maybe let's say you have to remember it or anything. So this is the formula. Now I'm just driving. I'm saying that why lift should be greater than one. So let's say I'm saying lift is greater than one. So I'm just multiplying it P of X intersection Y should be greater than P of X into P of Y. I just multiplied that right hand side, right? Now I know P of X intersection Y, I can write it as P of probability of buying product Y, given that we have all, we already have product X into P of X. So I just substitute P of X intersection Y here and then P of X and P of X got canceled out. And what I'm saying that probability of buying product Y, given that we already have X, is greater than the probability of buying just product Y. Got it. Why it should be greater than one? Because let's say if it's less than one, then probability of buying product Y, given that we already have X, is less than probability of buying Y. It means if you package them both, it will not sell. It's like you are selling harpic and milk together. Do you think it will go together? No. 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 Right. So that's what it means. That's why lift should always be greater than one. So we have already assumed that it should be greater than one. Like uh, before deriving with uh, the uh, probability of buying Y, given that X is already bought, is greater than only probability of uh, buying Y. So we are already uh, we have in mind that it should be greater than one like, right so this is an yeah so we are saying so for example you are only going to package those things for which lift is greater than one for any two products where lift is not greater than one you are not going to package those things that's what it meant okay. because if you package let's say harpic and milk the probability of buying both of them together is very very low as compared to buying them as individual products but if you package milk and bread together or milk and eggs together, the probability of buying both of them increases as compared to buying individual of them. Is it clear of this? Right, yeah, yeah, clear, clear. Right, we have thousands of products, 
we are only going to packaging or you can say allotment of products in such a way where the probability of buying both of them is higher as compared to buying them individually okay so the concept of lift is used to determine whether two products are you can be buy it simultaneously or not like together or not right can what are the percentage them? yes can we even package it i will come to case study you will see right okay, okay. but can we even package it can we even package it hmm. right this is very very important because let's say if i am saying okay if you buy hardpick you'll you'll get 2% off on milk do you think it's a good offer no right but if i say if you buy milk you know there you can let's say get 2% off or 5% off on bread do you think it's a good offer yeah right right because yeah. if you see the patterns people are buying milk and bread together or let's say bread and butter together as mm-hmm. compared to some other thing so right. this is very very important so lift should also whenever we are calculating these things lift should always be greater than 1 always if for any two products lift is not greater than 1 you cannot recommend those two things together this is the first recommendation system algorithm right which is based upon probability we are going to do other recommendation systems and algorithms later down the course then also we are going to look at this one market basket analysis will do hands on of it which is in python we can implement it using this algorithm if anyone is interested a priori algorithm we say if you have to implement this in python we'll do hands on once we go to recommendation system but what i am saying is that this is very very important that lift should always be greater than 1 For any two products, if lift is not greater than one, will not do it. Are we clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Anyone yes, has yes. any sort of doubt? Yeah. Anyone has any sort of doubt how market basket analysis helps? Now coming to this, right, and then we'll talk about support and conference. So again, as you can see, right. So here I am saying this is an example. We have grapes, apple, mango, orange. So these are transaction ID. So. in the first transaction we have bought all four in the second transaction we have bought grapes mango and orange in the third transaction we have bought mango and orange in the fourth transaction we have just bought apple fifth transaction all four sixth transaction grapes apple and orange now what i am saying what is my support my support is between mango and orange i am saying so total number of transaction is six and support is four where we have bought them together right so this one this one this one and this one so 4 by 6 0.66 then we have confidence which is what is the probability of buying mango given that we have already bought orange so this is 0.66 i know this is probability of orange is 0.83 because it's 5 by 6 so we are coming at as 0.79 the probability of buying mango given that we already have orange is 0.79 and now i'm calculating lift which is 0.66 divided by 0.83 into 0.66 so 1.20 it means probability of buying mango and orange has 20% more probability of going together as compared to as compared to a person uh, who is buying them individually right if you buy them together there are higher chances that it will sell more 20% higher chance as compared to if i sell them individually any doubt here guys clear clear yes, clear clear everyone now coming to why support is needed why confidence is needed lift we already know right lift represent the 20% increase you can say i say 20% i think i just by mistake they can become t so yeah to 20% and this is mango yeah so what i'm saying support says that 66% of the customer purchase mango and orange so all the customer who are coming in 66% of the customer more than half of the customer they buy these things these two things together confidence says that 79% of the customer that bought orange also bought mango out of those 66 79% of the customer But when they bought orange, they also bought mango, and lift represents the twenty percent increase in expectation that someone will buy mango when we know they buy orange. So let me give you a situation. Let's uh, say Amber, I just, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you tell me like how this point eight three come? 
probability of buying oranges in confidence. This, this is just five by six, no? Probability of orange, five times we have bought in total, six times is the total, one, two, three, four, five. Six is the total transaction, which is 0 0.83. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, so let me give you a situation. Do brainstorming on it for two minutes and then tell me. Do brainstorming. Let me tell you there are two situations. First scenario and second scenario. In the first scenario, lift is four. Support is, let's say, 15%. Confidence is equal to, let's say, 20%. And then we have a second scenario where lift 1.5. Support is 90%. And confidence is also 90%. 90%. Now you have to make a decision that you have to provide an offer. So are you going to pro provide an offer on the first scenario or the second scenario? You can say 10% discount of if both of them buy together. Are you going to provide an offer in this case or in this case? Take a minute, think properly, read support, confidence, try to link it with business and then tell me. You have two minutes. Let me know once you are ready. Once you have decided, I am launching a poll. Till then, do that. In this, uh, both in this both of the wait. cases. Wait, wait. Let me launch a poll first of all. No, I am just asking a doubt. Yes, tell me. In the first case, you would be having two products. In yeah, both cases, product. you have two products. In first case, you also have two products. In second case, you also have two mm -hmm. products. In both the cases, you have two products. In both are the same products. No, both are different. If both are same product, then how lift can be different? I'm saying, let's say in case one, there are two products. Let's say, let's say ice cream and candies. And here, let's say mango and orange. We have to determine that on which case, we, uh, whether first or second, we, we need to provide 10% or something discount, right? Yeah. To increase the sale. Okay. You have to decide whether you are going to you can only provide discount in one of these scenarios now tell me which scenario is everyone ready shall i launch a poll yeah yes, yes okay. i need everyone participation poll is the eight out of nine one is pending are you able to see the results why did you make that decision why scenario one since uh, we have lived uh, a higher value so it can like uh, the offer will be valid the like the like the combining offers will be valid on those products so basically you are saying in this case they are very there is very high probability of you know yes since the product. lift value is uh, higher because it only determines like whether it will be a valid offer or not the com okay. offer the products we are combining together that that's okay thing. okay um, yes Abhishek. yeah see from the above example we can see the confidence is higher as compared to support so in the first case the confidence is 20 and support is 15 so from there i took the conclusion from the example but in the second case both are equal and okay and see in first case um, it's more than 300 percent chances are higher okay but, okay yeah yes. so from there i took this conclusion Got it. What about scenario two? Those who mark scenario two, why? Uh, what I inferred from the lecture till now, like confidence is something which is, uh, you know, determining the percentage of buying two product together having higher chances. So a percentage uh, confidence in second scenario is 90%. So like uh, uh, what we can infer is 90% uh, of the people who are buying one product is also buying second one. So uh, giving offer on those products will increase the expectation. It can increase the expectation and further increase the lift also. Okay. Uh, I applied a very you know, simple idea that support is 90%. So 90% of the customers are purchasing the same, uh, you know, that particular, uh, those two, uh, those, one of those items, I, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we already have a huge number of customers buying that particular uh, item. So okay. uh, you, you generally off put offers in those items, which are all, which are selling on a higher amount. Okay. But whereas in the 
case of ice cream and uh, candies it's only 15% okay who else agree with this actually i think arshit agrees me also so thought this in the similar manner in the second scenario confidence is 90% so support is also higher so although in this case the left is comparatively lesser than the first scenario but still at least mm. we are completely sure of it that it might happen so i think this will be worst scenario okay okay you are going with which scenario scenario 1 or scenario 2 do you agree with the explanation that gave why he is going for scenario 2 do you feel convinced yeah yeah i agree uh, but uh, then i have a doubt like because uh, none of them like discussed about the lift matter like the lift is 1.5 so like mm. basically uh, i only thought in that process like since the lift value is uh, comparatively higher in uh, four mm. so uh, then i thought like it might be like valid like the combining the offers on the on two products will be valid and mm. there's a higher buying chance like in that process i thought so i might okay. be wrong i so i just want a correct answer okay so let let me tell you i think the scenario 2 should be a wise choice see again right i agree that the lift is for there is very high chance it's like what are the chances of buying a mattress if you are buying a bed what are the chances of buying both of these things together let's say if i'm going to buying a bed and i'm saying oh if you buy both of these things you know i can give you a bit of an offer but there are very few customers who are going to buy these things together or let's say in case of ice cream and candies because most of the people don't go for ice cream and candy there are many children who buy ice cream and candies together so we also have to understand the frequency right and that's when said that support totally makes sense why because we are saying 90% of the customers are going to buy these things so if i put an offer i'm going to make more sales at the end you need to make more money when you are putting this offer that's the whole, whole purpose if you are having let's say 10 transactions of uh, mango and orange in a day and just one transaction of ice cream and candies in a week there is no point of putting an offer because the transactions are itself so less even if you are just selling one item in a week it's not helping you but here you are putting an offer on something where you are selling 10 items of these things within a day right so there are more chances that you'll be able to sell it more and make more profit increase your sales right so the first one is that and confidence is like 79 79 so 90% of the customer who are buying let's say mango are also going to buy orange but only 20% of customers who are going to uh, buy let's say candies or ice cream are all going to buy the other thing 